Hey guys, Mr. Eric again from Prince of Peace, Prince of Bay Day Paws, and I am with you today from Prince of Peace up front in the church, a place where many of you meet me every Sunday to uh, uh, hear a kid's message, and I'm here because I'm not feeling so good. Not like I have a stomach ache, but I'm feeling bad because I did something wrong that I know was wrong. Now you probably have noticed my friend Edna here, and she's been with me the last couple of weeks. And if you've watched those videos, you notice that two weeks ago, as I was talking to you, Edna was interrupting me, weren't you Edna? Right? And uh, what she was interrupting me with was that she was hungry. And I said, oh wait, 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 I'll get you something later. But I didn't, did I? And then, Last week I was eating my eggs. She didn't want eggs, understandably. And I said, oh, well, I'll get you something to eat after I finish. And did I get you anything? How'd that make you feel? <coughs> Not good? So two times, I promised you, I told you, I would help you. And I didn't do it either time, did I? See, I made a promise. I said I would do something, and then I didn't do it. And it hurt somebody. And we call that sin. Um, not helping somebody when we have the opportunity. Making a promise that we're going to do something for somebody, and then not doing it. That's what today's, or this week's Bible verse is about in Sunday school. Uh, one of Jesus' closest friends, Peter. And Peter told Jesus, no matter what happens with you, I'll stick by your side. Every time. And yet, when Jesus was arrested and the, and the Roman guards came to Peter and said, you're the guy with Jesus, right? And said, no, 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 no. He told a lie. He had the chance to do the right thing. Say, yeah, Jesus is my friend. You arrested him for the wrong reasons. You, you, you shouldn't have done that. Jesus is innocent. But instead he said, nope, I don't know him. He missed the opportunity to do something good and stick with his friend, and instead did something bad. He turned his back on his friend. <sighs> yeah. I know what it's like to feel guilty. I bet you know what it's like to feel guilty. You did something wrong, and you feel terrible about it, like Peter did. And we find out in God's Word that Jesus forgave Peter. He said, I forgive you. You're my friend. And Jesus says that to us too. When we mess up and we say, Jesus, I'm so upset that I did this thing wrong. I shouldn't have done that. And Jesus says, I love you. You're my child. I forgive you. Now, Edna, do you forgive me? I'll take that as a yes. Okay. Thank you. This week in Sunday School, we're going to learn all about the fact that God forgives us as children. That even when we don't deserve it, we do something bad. Jesus says, you're my child, I love you, I forgive you. Um, that's a really important lesson to learn because when we learn that Jesus forgives us, it makes, up, it, makes it easier for us to forgive other people when they hurt us. And as God's people, we should forgive other people. We're going to learn all about that this Sunday in Sunday School, 10 o'clock to 10.45. If you are age four through grade five, we are upstairs in the Family Life Center. We would love to have you join in with our crafts and our activities and our games and all the fun things that we do. Uh, you're gonna love uh, Miss Kathy and Miss Karen who, who, um, who, who lead Sunday School and you um, should really check it out if you have it. And if you've come to Sunday School before, come on back, it's gonna be a great Sunday. I'd like to close with, um, you, with just doing a prayer. If you would fold your hands and repeat after me, and that way we can pray together. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving me and forgiving me when I mess up. Help me to forgive others like you forgive me. Amen. I hope we see you at Sunday School this week. Don't we, Edna? <laughs>